sports fans, and welcome to uh, uh, the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 4 pregame show. The Green Bay Packers are scoring off with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles right now at a legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And the uh, Packers have already jumped out to the early 7-0 lead. Uh, Aaron Rodgers threw a 50-yard uh, touchdown pass to Aaron Jones, and he went in that zone and scored it. The extra point was good, and Packers are up 7-0. We'll, I'll break down all the game and tell you what I think, give you my Thursday night pick, and uh, all that. But first... Uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Trivia Question. What Chicago Bears running back was known as the Galloping Ghost? I will have the answer later on the podcast. Uh, well, the, uh, the, uh, it's Thursday Night Football, uh, week four. The Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles are squaring up at, uh, uh, legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, as I just mentioned. Uh, uh, the Packers are five-point favorites to win uh, tonight's game against the Eagles. And uh, the Packers are coming off a, an 11-point win uh, over Denver last week in Denver and are looking to remain undefeated to go to 4-0 and maintain their perfect record. Packers uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers... Uh, and uh, running back Aaron, jo Aaron Jones both had a decent game, an outstanding game, excuse me, uh, and performance against uh, Denver, and are looking to do the same tonight against the Eagles. Now, the Packers' offense has struggled, but the defense has really been consistent. They need to maintain consistently tonight, and if they to maintain their per perfect record, and I'll have some keys to victory in uh, uh, just a, a matter of moments. But meanwhile, the Eagles are five-point underdogs in this game uh, tonight against the Packers. And the Eagles are coming off a three-point loss to the Washington Redskins uh, last week. And the Eagles are looking to really bounce back uh, from the loss to the Redskins in Washington and win this game uh, against the Packers and even up their record at... Uh, Two and two. Eagles QB Carson Rent Carson Wentz, excuse me, had a decent game against the Redskins last week, but the Eagles just were not able to make the final plays in the final two minutes of the fourth quarter, and they just were not able to come away with the win. But uh, Carson Wentz and the rest of the team are looking to have a better performance uh, game wise and make the plays they need to and come away with a win in Green Bay tonight. Now. The uh, Eagles uh, struggled offensively and defensively in the game against Washington last week. And they just, uh, and uh, Green Bay, as you know, has, a, uh, has, a, has had a most dangerous pass rushing uh, defense so far this season. And they need to continue that tonight. And uh, the Eagles are really going to have to put the pressure on the Eagles defense uh, uh, tonight. And, uh. If they want to come away with the win on the road, and uh, I was just watching their pregame show on Fox, and uh, both Terry Bradshaw and Howie Longfield, the Eagles are going to win on the road, and Michael Strahan, and uh, um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but they both the other the other uh, commentator feels that he that it's going to be the Packers. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens tonight in this game. And uh, now, obviously, the Packers must find a way to get things going consistently. Uh, now, Matt Flowers, in his first year as an NFL head coach, and his offense has shown flashes of of dominance, but they also ha have had times they could not move the ball for extended periods of time, and they need to do that tonight against this uh, Philadelphia Eagles uh, team. And uh, they really need to put the pressure on uh, Eagles QB, uh, Kirk Carson Wentz. And I just really feel... Uh, I'm going to give you my uh, uh, Thursday night. Uh, I just really feel that uh, this, I think, I think the, the Packers show the edge in this game. Um, and I just really feel uh, they want to maintain their perfect record. And I just feel that they're going to have the edge in tonight's game. And, I th and uh, I'm going to give you my pick in just a moment. Uh, but... Uh, uh, that being said, uh, it's time for a look at some three keys to victory 
in the uh, that the Packers need to beat the Eagles tonight in this game tonight because this is not gonna this is gonna be a uh, a challenging game for the Packers by far tonight. I feel and they're really gonna have to really make the play. They're, they're gonna have to really uh, strike early, but they're gonna have their home crowd behind them because they're at their home. Uh, 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 field, uh, which is uh, has been re- was rebuilt after uh, I can't remember which season, but I know it was rebuilt, and they have all this. Uh, the team has really have been a, a a legendary team, like for example, Bart Starr, Paul Horning, and then Brett Favre, Reggie Bush, and uh, Reggie Reggie yeah Reggie Reggie White yeah Reggie Bush, excuse me, and uh, they've had some good teams over the years, but they're having some. Packers teams that have uh, struggled over the years, uh, and we'll get to the three uh, keys uh, uh, to tonight's victory. To the keys to victory that the Packers need to have tonight. But right now, it is time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, trivia question. Uh, what Chicago Bears running back was known as the Galloping Ghost? And if you said Harold Grange, you are correct. Uh, Hall of Famer Harold Grange, All-American running back at the University of Illinois in the early 1920s, then the Bears until 1935, was known as the as Red Garange, Grange, excuse me, or the Galloping Ghost. He was so dominating in 1924, in a game in 1924, excuse me, against Michigan, gaining 262 yards, scoring four... Uh, scoring four touchdowns in just 12 minutes, that he inspired uh, inspired Grantland Rice to write the following poem that sprung his nickname. And I'm going to read that poem to you right now. A streak of fire, uh, a breath of flame, eluding all who reach and clutch, a gray ghost, thrown into the game that rival hands may not, may never touch a rubber-bounding, blasting soul whose destination is the goal. And quote. That is an actually true poem that inspired Harold, Gr- Harold uh, uh, Grange's career. I believe it was, let me double check that one more time. It is uh, Harold Gr- Grange's career. And I will have another uh, trivia question on my next podcast, so stay tuned for that. Now, uh, here are, I feel, the uh, some three keys to victory. And the Packers offense uh, has to really uh, put the pressure on Eagles QB Carson Wentz. And the Packers must continue to have one of the most dangerous pass rushes as they have so far this season. And I just, I had mentioned that. And Aaron Rodgers must find a way to to get going and really get back on track with his game and season as well. The Eagles have a uh, banged up secondary that has been unable to stop the uh, uh, pass rush this year. And, and uh, so the Packers really need their star quarterback to really get his game Back on track and really and his performance as well, and really uh, put the pressure on the Eagles' uh, secondary defense and offense and secondary in general. And so, really, they really need to uh, really put the uh, on the offense and defense and their quarterback Carson Wentz. That those are the first. And now and finally, the Packers are going to need to force a turnover or two. Mike Patin's defense has shown. Plenty of uh, playmaking potential uh, this season, and that needs to continue. Green Bay has a strong pass rush and a secondary that uh, can capitalize on mistakes, and they also need to make something happen by forcing fumbles on Wentz and on rookie running back uh, Miles Sanders. If the Packers can do these three things, they will have a very good chance to keep their perfect record, and and I feel they're going to do just that. And I'm going to give you my Thursday night pick of the week for this game tonight between the Packers and Eagles. And I'm going with Green Bay with them being at home because Green Bay has always been tough at home, and I feel 
that the Green Bay Packers will have the edge in this game tonight. And I just really feel that, I, and I feel Green Bay is going to come away with the win in this game tonight. Uh, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football uh, Week 4 pregame show. I will have the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 4 uh, postgame show once the Packers-Eagles game has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.